Hamida, the reverted mother of Imam Musa al kadhim Hamida hailed from North Africa and was gifted by Imam al-Baqir to his son as a slave girl, whom the latter freed and selected as a spouse. Questions arose about why Imam al-Sadiq would marry someone from a different cultural background when he could have chosen from his own. The Imam's choice challenged the notion of marrying within one's lineage. Imam al-Sadiq could have chosen to emphasize his lineage and status, but instead he taught us a valuable lesson. Islam transcends cultural boundaries. His marriage to Hamida symbolized unity and diversity, illustrating that in Islam, marriage should be based on faith and character rather than race or caste. Islam encourages marrying someone of the same faith, but does not limit it to a specific cultural or racial background. Imam al-Baqir regarded her as a woman praised in this world and treasured in the hereafter. Imam al-Sadiq said on her, Hamida is pure from impurity and she is like a gold bullion. Angels have always watched over her until our child, the next Imam and God's gift to us, was born. Hamida's character was exceptional. Imam al-Baqir highly praised her describing her as a woman with whom Allah was pleased, and she was pleased with Allah's decree. She was not just a wife, but a partner in faith and knowledge. In their marriage, both Imam al-Sadiq and Hamida aimed to grow together in faith and knowledge. They weren't content with one being overly religious, while the other lacked interest. Instead, they nurtured each other's spiritual growth. Imam al-Sadiq's profound respect for Hamida was evident when he encouraged the ladies of Medina to seek her wisdom. He affirmed that Hamida's answers to religious questions were aligned with his own. Their marriage was a beautiful example of two souls walking the path of faith side by side.